What's going on, people? Thanks for tuning in to White Whale Fishing. I'm really, really glad you're here. I've got a pretty cool video for you. Um, before we talk about that, anybody out there fishing? Anybody out there catching? If so, let me know down below. I've got to live vicariously through you guys right now because here in my neck of the woods, it's 20 degrees, it's cold. I'm not an ice fisherman. I don't own any ice gear. I've never been ice fishing in my life. So I'm not doing much fishing these days. I'm crawling up the walls. I'm driving my family crazy. It is what it is. Spring will be here before I know it. But I was kind of going through the archives and I found a video from August that I never posted. This is probably the best time to post this video because I have a feeling that many of you are in the same boat that I am. It's cold, bodies of water are frozen, we're not doing much fishing. So what better thing to do than to watch a video from late summer where guys are walking around in shorts and t-shirts and, and, and catching fish. But this video, I really, really like it because it, it does a lot of things that I love to do. One of my favorite things to do when I go fishing is to wake up early. Hop in the truck, drive. You know, a little road trip, a little 30 minute, 45 minute, hour, hour and a half road trip. Watch the world come to life, right? Watch that sunrise, watch, you know, the fog over the rolling hills. I mean, that for me, that's just like, I might as well be meditating. I'm a bank fisherman at heart. I've been a bank beater my entire life. Um, and I think a lot of you are out there too. So I think you're probably gonna relate to this video quite a bit. This is a private pond. And this might be the very first private pond I've ever fished. So I was jacked up for that. I was jacked up to go on a road trip. I was just jacked up to get up and get out and fish because that's what we love to do here. Um, so if you're a bank angler, if you like to travel to your fishing spots and if you like to break down new bodies of water, check this out. on a private pond in the heartland of Indiana and um, yeah looking to have a good time uh, thanks a lot K9 for bringing me out here and uh, looking forward to having some fun and hopefully catching some fish let's go nice nicely done Old Faithful? Yep. Nice. Hey, I got a fishing pole, dude. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> Jim, that might be the best catch of the day. <laughs> Two for one. <laughs> it's happy hour. <laughs> Right? I'll take this. There we go. You got a good one? Oh no, snagged on something. Balls. It's weird. Numero uno of trusty Mr. Chatterbait. Nice looking fish. Fish 
nice one. That's what we're talking about, Jimbo. How big? Maybe three. Good, good deal. Healthy. Oh well, yeah, they're nice fish. Super healthy. Let's get a couple pictures with this girl. All right. Where can we put her? Let's put her in right here. Thanks for playing, girl. That was awesome. Hope we can do that a couple more hundred times. Holy moly. Wasn't expecting to throw it into the tree. <laughs> In case you're not sure if these things cast or not. Oh, got tagged. As soon as I sped it up. Holy moly. A frog or toad or whatever that was just scared the living bejesus out of me. Right there. You gotta get him away from this tree. <clears throat> Little silver bass. Little silver bass. Cute little fella. Thanks, bud. I don't know if you guys saw that. Bass came out and kissed it. Sun's starting to come up over the bank. Bass are gonna start getting tucked away. That was awesome. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I flipped that uh I flipped that chatterbait right next to that laydown. Brought it up once, dropped it down, came up and smashed it. Oh, come back. Come back. Oh my God. A mid morning update. The bites died down. So uh, tied on a jig. Gonna crawl this guy along the bottom and see if that doesn't produce anything for us. All right, y'all, stay tuned. We're talking about it and you end up hooking it. <laughs> Mr. Old Albino Catfish. Albino Catfish. That's awesome. Okay, let's see. Back here. You got him? Hold on. Hold on. I got him. Okay. You got it? Yeah, I can't. I got it. I got Thanks, you. dude. Oh. Look at that little baby. You gonna pose for a picture? Huh? You yeah, yeah, sure. pose for a picture? <laughs> I guess there's more than one. <laughs> yeah. 
That's awesome. I I'll send. I can oh, send okay, it to you. Okay. <laughs> I was like, "What is this thing?" <laughs> that was such a cool day. Not only was the drive there just gorgeous, it was just great to get out on a new body of water and start to put that puzzle together because that's kind of what fishing is. Is it top water? Is it subsurface? Are they on bottom? Is it finesse? Are they hitting moving baits, right? It's a big jigsaw puzzle and that's the fun of fishing is, you know, figuring it out and putting it together. There was no doubt that the bladed jig is what got it done for us that day. Um, a lot of chatterbaits out there. A lot of people have been fishing chatterbaits for a long time. If you guys don't own a chatterbait, if you don't have confidence in fishing a chatterbait, I highly recommend that you just pull the trigger, go buy a $6 original chatterbait and start to fish it. What works the best for me on, on it, maybe you caught it in the video on ev almost every single one of those. It was either after a rod twitch or a handle, the handle turn, a quick handle turn, something different. Um, as the bait's moving through the water, as you're reeling it through the water, a rod twitch or a handle turn causes it to kind of bump out and then come back and bump out and come back. You know, turn the handle six times and just pop the rod. And a lot of times that's when that, that bait will cause that bass to lash out reaction strike. One of the other things, if you guys have a lot of confidence fishing a bladed jig and you're interested in a really killer new badass trailer, this is the Hog Farmer Spunk Shad. That's what I was throwing on that chatterbait that day. I don't even need to say anything. You guys can see the action in this tail. This thing is just going crazy. Um, phenomenal chatterbait trailer, phenomenal Ned Rig bait, phenomenal weightless fluke bait, uh, probably phenomenal drop shot bait. I'm gonna try it on some bass beds during the spawn, see if it works. Hog farmer baits, spunk shad. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you got a couple of gold nuggets of information. Get out there, go fishing, go chase that white whale of your life, and I'll check you guys next time. Peace out. Oh yeah, P.S., in case you're curious, I hate frogs. Hate them, they suck. Don't judge me. <laughs>